What's going on guys, J-Law B-Ball here. I've been getting a ton of comments, questions about Yeezy and the basketball shoes that I was wearing in this last video. Uh, me going one-on-one -on -one against some of my random uh, IG followers. And I have the Quantums and the basketball Yeezys. And I'm gonna kind of break them down for you guys and tell you the difference. A lot of people are asking if I was hooping in the lifestyle version or if I was hooping in the basketball version. And I was hooping in the basketball version. I also have the lifestyle version. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference between the two and tell you guys why I like, actually love them as a basketball shoes. So what we'll do is we'll start off with the basketball version. This is the one that I was hooping in uh, the other day. And these are large shoes. Let me just say that. Very large shoes, but I love them because they are fully encompassed in boost. Honestly, I think they're more than like the Hardens, uh, which Hardens are my favorite hoop shoes, hands down. Uh, these have maybe a little bit more boost padding in them. If not, I apologize, but it feels very, very comfortable, very soft. Uh, one of the biggest keynote differences is gonna be the, the, the heel, the heel lock on these is elastic, a little bit more, uh, it hugs uh, your ankle a little bit more and the toe or the tongue uh, is actually locked into place. So now it's gonna keep your ankle more in place than the other lifestyle version. Um, still a very flimsy uh, shoe. So even though it's a high or uh, a very high shoe, the upper is doing very little. It's got a great heel lock on the back. So for me, like I have a weird thing. I have a, a deformity actually on my foot uh, it's called a Hagelin deformity, and my heel actually extends beyond, like there's a bone that extends beyond my, my heel. So my foot actually fits phenomenally in this. That was a little fun fact. Uh, but my foot fits phenomenally in this because the heel lock comes out so much from the base of the, the sole of the shoe, and then it tapers inward. So that feels extremely comfortable. Uh, the front, this little like soft nubbuck, uh, I thought it was going to get absolutely destroyed when I was playing and I drag my toes a ton like when I go into drags or uh, you know, go into my crosses, I'm always dragging my feet and it really held up extremely well for the first time I played in. No like bunching, no like uh, no scuffs, no marks, so like I'm extremely impressed with that. Uh, as well as the material on the outer, uh, it's very like durable. The sole of the shoe, amazing durability, and when it gets like marked or scuffed, you can literally just wipe it straight clean super easily. Um, so I was really impressed with that, but this part, like have no fear, no worry, uh, hooping in these and this getting dirty. So I love that about them. Uh, laces, land tongue, extremely comfortable. You can tighten them really tight, which I love to do on my hoop shoes, make sure that, that it's fitting like super, super, uh, super snug. And the laces go up perfect height where it's not restricting your jumping tendon. And like for me, I know it sounds really, really weird, but I'm gonna give you guys just uh, a little bit of my preferences. So for me, I got my 700s here. For me, when I'm rocking, uh, when I'm rocking these, uh, a lot of times with highs or even mids, those laces will come right to your jumping tendon and restrict your ability to kind of like elevate or pop. And these hug right underneath that jumping tendon and it gives me some perfect comfort. And I'm all the way at the top shoelace, the top rung. And these are just like a complete snug fit. It's not restrictive. It's still giving me like uh, mobility or flexibility in my jumping tendon. And it's just a really, really comfortable fit. So. I'm very, very uh, excited to be rocking these on the on the court because it's not going to restrict my my movement, uh, which is why I usually rock with a low top over a mid or a high top. And then the last thing, and one of the most important things for me as a basketball player, is the grip. Uh, 
Grip is a little bit more uh, traditional in a sense that it's a con consistent pattern throughout the entire sole of the shoe or the bottom of the shoe. Uh, a lot of new age shoes will have crisp different types of patterns throughout it, uh, which I'm not too big of a fan. I'm more of like an old school Kobe where it's all consistent, gritty um, on the bottom, get amazing traction with it. These shoes I probably give the traction at about uh, seven and a half or an eight out of 10, uh, which is solid, uh, solid score, a lot better than uh, some of the counter other Adidas counterparts, but uh, still, you know, not up to, to par with like my James Harden, uh, you know, James, uh, the Harden Volume 1s or the Harden, Harden Volume uh, 3s, which are Harden Volume 4s, which are my two favorite Harden shoes, the Volume 1s and Volume 4s, they have amazing traction. But these, very, very close second or third uh, in that lineup, which I just realized, guys, my 700s, I didn't know this, but they were the exact same shoe, just low top version. Well, not exact same, but pretty similar. So, learn something new every day. Okay, that's gonna take us to our lifestyle. So the Quantums are the lifestyle version, and I wanna say these aren't out yet. Uh, this colorway, they might be, uh, but these lifestyle version, a little bit heavier uh, of a shoe, the boost, and I'm saying this like, I kind of sound crazy, but I don't think the boost is as, as thick. Uh, you may not be able to see like the difference, physical difference, physical height difference, but for me, like the playing difference, like when you put this shoe on the basketball version versus this version, this version feels like a, kind of like a, like a boost 180 where it's not gonna be fully encompassed. Even though there is boost throughout the entire shoe, it's not like you're you know, walking on two clouds. It's like you're walking on a single cloud. The basketball version is like you're walking on two or three freaking clouds. It's amazingly comfortable. Um, and once again, I could just be over analyzing it, but that is literally how it feels. Biggest notable difference, as I said, was the heel lock on the lifestyle version. So the, the lifestyle version, uh, the heel lock goes up into or tapers into a non-elastic um, top. So it's zero elasticity, it's very floppy. Basketball version has a little bit more structure into it, keeps your ankle in just a little bit more, nothing too crazy. But the lifestyle version, it is just flimsy. And that's phenomenal for rocking a pair of jeans or you know, rocking them out. It's not gonna be you know, too tight, overbearing. Uh, the tongue is going to be out a little bit more, so this tongue stays extremely like flush, tight to your ankle, which is great for playing. Hugs it really well. Uh, the lifestyle version pops out a little bit more, gives you, like I said, a little bit more freedom and flexibility to just rock them while not feeling too restricted. The top, the tongue feels a little bit wider than the basketball. Uh, sorry, the toe feels a little bit wider on the lifestyle than the basketball. And I think that's literally just because, you know, you want to stay a little bit more locked in and make sure you don't have too much toe movement or foot movement in the basketball version. Whereas the lifestyle version, you're not going to be cutting and jumping around. So uh, it's a little bit more freedom in the toe. But honest to God, I would probably be able to play in both because the grip, as I said, which is one of my most important things on a shoe, basketball shoe, the sole or bottom is literally exactly the same. So grip wise, it's a phenomenal grip on the shoe and it's you know gonna be able to uh, handle any cut or action or movement. So I would highly suggest that the ability to be able to play in the lifestyle shoe, just not for a longer period of time. If you want something a little bit more stable and durable, the basketball shoe is definitely where it's at. But once again, that is literally the review on both. There's not too many physical differences. Uh, performance wise, like I said, the heel lock going into the elastic band, or elastic around the ankle, very, very important for any hooper. The grip, solid seven and a half, eight. Uh, you know, at a performance wise, like overall comfort, I'm rocking with the basketball shoe literally almost every time I get onto the court. So be prepared to see more of me hooping in these easy basketball shoes and then rocking my 700s and 
my lifestyle versions off the court. Thank you guys. If you guys actually liked or enjoyed this like shoe review, I know I did one of them a while back on the boost, Adidas boost you wear, but this is some sneakers are kind of my passion, like a hidden passion. Fun little story for those of you guys who are new to subscribing. Uh, when I started training, what I would do is I'd put a pair of shoes in front of me and I would always be able to emulate my defender. And it was me practicing my moves on a pair of shoes. And when I first started out on social media, I was known as the shoe guy because I always had a different pair of shoes for each one of my tutorials and videos. So I'd be doing moves on Yeezys and KDs and back when I was, you know, rocking a whole bunch of different film, foam posits, J's, and I'd do these drills and tutorials because sneakers are such a big part of my upbringing, my lifestyle, the basketball lifestyle and culture. And I love doing these kind of videos to show you a little bit more about what makes me tick and not so much the on-court stuff, uh, be able to transition into the lifestyle phase. But if you did enjoy this video, drop a like, hit that thumbs up button. It's not even that hard. Even if you didn't like it, hit the thumbs up and tell me in the comments what you want to see more of. And I'd love to do that for you guys. Hope you guys have an amazing day. God bless you. Happy New Year.